Hey, Jay. Uh, congrats on the win. Um, just want to ask you about, uh, you guys want to play a full 60 minutes. That third period might have been your best period collectively. Just what was it about that period that you liked and you were able to kind of... I thought we played a mature third period. Um, I really liked our first period as well. We got into some penalty trouble, but, um, you know, the way we came out and asserted the way we want to play, it looked like us tonight. It, um, as I said, uh, it looked like us, and it's a credit to our players. Left side. Bro. <laughs> Jay, after the last game, Ryan Nugent Hopkins and, and Zach Hyman were both pretty defiant that, that Sunday was going to be the team's best game. Did you sense that? How close do you feel like it was to your best kind of effort? Yeah, you know what? I, I think um, we had a lot of proud people uh, in our organization, uh, amongst our players group, on the coaching staff and in management. And uh, no one's been happy with the way we started this season, collectively. Um, and, you know, I, I just think we got back uh, to play in a certain way. Um, we got good contributions. I thought we played fast. We played hard. And we're going to look to build on it as we go forward. Um, you know, it was a big night for our city, big night for our organization. They did a heck of a job putting on a magnificent spectacle. But I started before the game by saying the most important thing is that we walk out of here with two points. Um, I would add that I'm very pleased that we walked out of here with two points, but we looked like us tonight. Do you think the uh, pomp and cir circumstance around the event was exactly what you guys needed? Well, maybe a change of venue. I don't know what it was that led um, led to us res more resembling ourselves. But one of the things that I do know is that this team has won 100 games in the last two seasons. This team has played in five playoff series over the last two seasons. We've done a lot of really good things. Um, but for me... That's the way we need to play. And we have to bring it every single day. That resembled who we were, who we are, and how we're going to uh, carve a path going forward. Um, so I think good night uh, for our fellows. Well-deserved victory for our group. Hey, Jay, uh, you outscored Calgary 4-zip 5-on-5. Uh, five five. Yep. What did you like about your play defensively specifically? Yeah, uh, we didn't give up much. Um, <clears throat> I thought the penalties got kept them alive in the game. Now, saying that, they scored two power play goals with one second left on uh, on the clock. I think that's the third time this year that's happened to us. So, I mean, that's just the, the way it goes. But five on five defensively, I thought we had the puck a lot. I thought we made uh, good decisions with the puck. And when we didn't have it, we worked very hard to get back to our own end uh, with numbers. We knocked a lot of pucks down and went the other way. And I thought it was a good night for us. Looked like us. Uh, Evander Kane had a big hit to start the third period, then had a goal and an assist as well in the third. What did you think about his play overall, and particularly in that third period? Quintessential Evander Kane game. You look at his uh, finished checks, you look at his shots on net, you know, he ended up in the box. Um, but he was, a, he was a big factor in our team winning. I thought he, the thing that stood out for me was that he skated very well tonight. He skated excellent, and we're going to need him to continue to do that. In the back. Jay, your players had talked a bit about how there'd been some lulls in games and maybe trying to figure out a way to push back when that starts happening. They seem to tonight. What did you like about, you know, when Calgary was pushing back, the way you were able to pull yourselves back? Yeah, and you know what? I thought Calgary's, Calgary's push came from, you know, being the benefactor of two five-on-threes in a short period of time. I thought, you know, in the second period, we... The first 10 minutes of that period, we were controlling the bulk of the play, spending a lot of time in the opponent's zone. They scored a goal you know, on a power play with one second left. That kind of gave them a little bit of life. They had a little bit of a push. I just I liked what our players were messaging to each other on the bench and then to go out and, and live that. No one's going to play the perfect game. We know that. Um, but I thought everybody was present. We didn't need to be perfect tonight, but everyone was present. Coach, a bit of a two-part question for you. First and sure. foremost, with Matthias Eckholm missing training camp, I just yeah. wanted to get your thoughts on where his game is at right now, uh, as well as the pairing of him and Evan Bouchard and what makes them uh, mesh so well together. Well, I would say that um, Eckholm did miss camp, and he missed a lot of reps in camp. 
I don't think he's played to his capability just yet, just on the simple fact that um, being in your early 30s and missing six weeks wasn't just camp. He, he missed six weeks. Um, that's tough on anybody. So he's played catch up with the game going very fast. I thought tonight was his best game. I think part of what makes him who he is is that he has a strong voice. But part of having a strong voice is making sure you're playing well yourself and, and doing the things that you're, you're comfortable with in your game. I thought tonight was his best game. You asked about the pairing with him and Bouchard. I thought Bouchard had a, a tough game a couple nights ago um, in Minnesota. Uh, and what I've seen from him is that he's responded really well. That pair tonight was excellent for us. A lot of poise back there, boys on breakouts, and we're going to need them to continue to grow and take a step as we go forward. Time for two more. Left side in the middle. Connor returns. And how much do you think he was like himself? And how much did it make your team be like yourself? Well, uh, anytime you see your, your captain or the head of our snake um, return, uh, to the lineup that gives everybody a little bit of a lift and um, you know I thought he played his his heart out tonight um, you know uh, it's, it's a different type of game the ice isn't what it normally is but I thought he was dangerous uh, every shift um, you know he, he pushes teams back with his speed I thought we saw a lot of really good signs in his game tonight Last one, right side. Yeah. Uh, Jay, how important did that game feel? Obviously, every game's important on the schedule, mm -hmm. but you guys struggling heading into tonight, Calgary struggling heading into tonight. As your, uh, as your tenure as head coach of the Oilers, how important did this October game feel to you and your team? Well, <clears throat> it's not about me or my tenure. Like, for me, it was important for our team psyche to put a tick in the win column. Uh, but probably more important was how we played. So forget about the result. The result's important. We know we're not taking any moral victories, but how we played tonight, as I said earlier, that resembled who we are. That resembled the team that has put a century spot over the last two years in the regular season. That resembled the team that has played five playoff rounds over the last two years. That's important because it's something to build on. As I said, we weren't perfect, but we were present. And putting two points on the board allows us to build on something as we head into this week. Thank you, Coach. Good. Thanks, guys.